So this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading, uh, January 6th to January 12th, 2020. And uh, in case you guys who want to get in touch with me uh, to schedule personal reading, you can check out the description down below in this video and there you're going to find a, a link to my uh, website. So with that being said, let's move and take the draw for the uh, for Pisces love uh, tarot reading here and relationship. We do have the Queen of Cups as the general topic and team for your week Pisces, followed by the next one here, which stands as the uh, energies that are supporting the topic itself that is going to be the sun followed by the next one here which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week that is to be the eight of wands followed by the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week that is going to be the five of swords then we do have how other people sees you how your friends and family are seeing you, how your partner is seeing you, how your person of interest is seeing you. That is to be the seven of swords. Followed by the next one here, which represents what is going to help your long term goal. And we do have love and relationship goal, that is. And that is going to be the uh, tower card. Followed by the next one, which is what is going to uh, hurt your long term love and relationship goal. We do have the Tree of Pentacles. And the last one here, which is the guidance that Taro is offering uh, to you in terms of love and relationship, Pisces. That is going to be the Four of Pentacles. All right, so let's uh, have a look on the first two cards here, which are the Topic and, the topic and Team, and then uh, we do have the Energies. So this week, uh, you and someone else are going to have a, a fantastic time together. And uh, as the sun, it is the energies that are surrounding the topic. <clears throat> With this person, maybe you had a little bit of a disagreement beforehand or whatever issues you do have in between each other, especially potent uh, reading for those who are not having a great time into their relationship because of certain shenanigans or misunderstandings. This week, it is obviously where uh, things are going to take the right path or rather like uh, problems are going to be resolved, that is. That is because in relationship, the sun expands its uh, energies of warmth and buries the the tomahawks of war, if I may say it that way. Therefore, there won't be any prerequisites or a foundation of whatever conflict is to arise or whatever conflict is arisen at that particular stage. <clears throat> it's very likely that one or the other way that conflict is to be resolved. So that is based on the energies. Additionally to that, whatever it is to happen for you or to you throughout this week, January 6th to 12th, is going to be very natural, okay? I mean, in terms of love and relationship. Therefore, the interactions with this person who, by the, by the way, it has a, an, an extraordinary emotion or attachment towards you is going to be very natural. That being said, if this is your person of interest, all the interactions you have and all the advance into moving from simple interactions into a relationship, the whole process is going to be very natural. There, there, won't, there, there won't be those kind of a situations there where you feel like you have to push it, like you have to do something abnormal and ordinary and so on and so forth and vice versa as well. It's going to be very natural for that person also. Now, one thing about this person, the Queen of Cups, which um, it could be a man as well, all right? All right. The court cards, they point to archetype. They do not point to gender. So that person values uh, a, a, a discreticity, if that's a word, above everything else. So they want you to be discreet. You know, you spend a good night together. They don't want to see you bragging about it or they don't want to hear you bragging about it in front of everybody on the next day. So imagine, you know, that is the guy from your work and you spend an awesome night together and on the other day they... The last thing they want to hear is how everybody is discussing the night that you have spent because you have bragged about it, okay? 
But above everything else, uh, this person itself uh, understands you very well. What I mean is that they very well know what kind of a uh, troubles in life you are going through, and therefore you can find a an, a, a huge um, common ground. Okay, uh, that you can a common ground from which you can build up something very solid moving forward into the future. So the challenges here, it is the eight of wands, and that is the challenge of wanting the thing to happen over a, a night, okay? So things are gonna happen very quickly in between you two, like I said, naturally, so you may become afraid, you know, how fast that whole situation is developing in between you and your partner, in between you and your person of interest, and etc, etc. And the challenge here is going to be to hold your horses a little bit and above everything else, don't think that you can get away with everything, right? So make your moves calculated, like with the bragging. So despite that, that person is going to be into you very much, despite that they can forgive you almost everything, it is almost everything, all right? And do not be unreasonable, do not be rushy, do not be frantic, and do not risk, jeopardize uh, whatever interactions you do have in between uh, you two. So the next one, it is the gifts and the blessings, and we do have the Five of Swords. So Five of Swords, uh, as a gift and blessing, it does uh, represent that you very well will understand how you stand. Okay, so how what your position is in all that and how far you can go with it. Therefore, the gift and the blessing, it is mm, the, the gift and the blessing of awareness. So you're not going to put celluloid expectations or fantasies within your head, but you will know, you know, can you be with this person or can you not be with this person? Is it right now the time to do something or is it not right now the time to do something? And that is going to make you very calm and peaceful from within. And above everything else, it will allow you to choose your own battles, you know, in which situations you have to do something and in which situations it is best to keep your mouth shut and to um, vanish or rather like disappear, you know, that's pretend to not be in here I, at all. So the next card here, Pisces, for you is how other people sees you. <clears throat> and uh, from one side with the Seven of Swords, people were seeing you very selfish. Maybe it is because you going on into that direction of, um, you know, stabilizing the situation in between you and your person of interest or in between you and your wife and husband, your partner, your beloved and so on and so forth is going to mess things, mess things around with uh, certain peripheral situations that you have no part in. For example, you know, you uh, pick up and recuperate the relationship with your wife that her family hates you, okay? So that kind of disrupt their situation. And uh, I, this is why these people are gonna see you rather quite selfish. But with the Seven of Swords, <clears throat> this is the card where one needs to step forward for themselves. And this is how as well people are gonna see you from another standpoint, that you uh, are not going to simply say, okay, I abandon it just so there are no conflicts whatsoever, but instead you are going to, uh, people are gonna see you uh, ready to fight for what you believe in, for what you want, and ready to storm any situation whatsoever if that situation is to treat you uh, unjust, and it is to take something from you. So uh, it's, that being said, people are to see you someone that it is a force to be reckoned with, someone that it is uh, not for a trifle, you know, someone that uh, it will be hard to be overcome. And if you do have certain individuals that uh, are not want to see you happy or that are not want to see you prevailing into your relationship or into your interactions, this is the week where you need to make your stand for it. So uh, the other card here, it is what is going to help your long term goal. And we do have the tower card. So with the tower card, uh, your transformation, and that is very broad to be said, to be honest. So with uh, the tower represents, um, in this case, the willingness 
to undergo ordeals and the willingness to undergo unpleasant symptoms that are inevitable one time or the other, they will have to happen. You need to stand against the problems you may face, okay, or you are facing. You cannot always avoid the issue, but as the gifts and the blessings here showed in our reading, this time around throughout this week, uh, the conflict or rather like the confrontation is going to happen based on your turns, all right? It's going to happen. You are to dictate the rules how this confrontation is to happen. But it is important that you face that confrontation, you know, resort the things that needs to be resolving. And whatever it is to be destroyed throughout the week, much better things are going to take uh, to have birth on their places because the tower card holds all kind of it, it puts that you need to undergo ordeals and some unpleasant circumstances it always has a nurturing and healing effect it's like you know the uh, it's like the blacksmiths you forge a steel and then you have to put it through fire and water so it can be quenched. So it's a, lot, it's a lot of stress. But afterwards, after the quenching, it becomes much more harder than before, all right? Because it becomes much more stable and strong than before. So you need to confront throughout this week all the issues that you do have with your current relationship, with your current interactions, with the people that are, are kind of like noxious to the relationship and so on and so forth. So what is uh, <clears throat> the next card here? We do have the Three of Pentacles, which is uh, what is going to hurt your long-term relationship and love goal. And that is expecting support. That is expecting that someone else is going to tell you what to do. Someone else is going to... Um, cooperate with you in order to uh, attract the person you want to be with or to fix the issues into your relationship. It is all that needs to be done. You can do it by yourself. And by doing it yourself, you're going to show a strong dedication that you really mean it, that you really want the things to work out. Once again, in between you and your person of interest or in between you and your partner. And uh, that is going to, on its own accord, uh, boost a lot of confidence and going to make you look reliable, trustworthy and etc. etc. So don't try to, what I'm trying to say here is do not try to attract a third party people into the, uh, into the situation with hope that those third, uh, third party people are going to help you uh, winning back your ex or, you know, kind of like making relationship with uh, your person of interest. No different than these Latino, um, Latino shows back in the days, you know, where it's always someone has to be involved in order two people to become, uh, to become together or someone needs to be involved so two people can split and etc. etc. So the last uh, card here, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Pisces. We do have the Four of Pentacles and that is the week where you are to um, forge your near future in terms of love and relationship. And as a guidance, Four of Pentacles urges you to forge it as certain as possible. Therefore, uh, if there are some question marks that you do have in your head of uh, regarding this, how the situation is to unfold, you have to raise your voice about it. Uh, that is all that is asked from you and find a solution for it because solution can be found with the sun as the ener uh, as energies. As a matter of fact, very natural and growing solution to every problem that you are facing in your interactions with your person of interest or with your relationship if you do have any. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.